Earth Project is a project that I started with uh, three other members. It's the first ever Japanese student team to make a Mars rover, mainly aiming to compete in University Rover Challenge, which is a student rover contest held in every year in the States. By developing our rovers as a student, we want to bring up Japanese space industries bottom-up. So in the future, still Japanese robot mission is not held in before. And we haven't seen the vehicle mode like this huge rover working on the moon surface or Mars surface yet. By gradually challenging in our young stages, we believe in the future maybe there could be future Japanese rover Mars mission. In terms of competition, it's also important to use a 3D printer. The common contact and communication and the co-working together between this divided area is a challenge. But if we have the 3D printer, we can challenge it a lot of times. Stress-free, we can just build. If it breaks, no pressure, just build it again. And this 3D printing part, we can also print any parts at Tokyo as well. If you want to give some parts to Tokyo, just send them the 3D printing, as step files or whatever, and they print it by themselves. Can create the same thing at the same, like, divided place. It's also a strength, I would say. So many times, if you have some rover experiment held in Tokyo, and some parts are not ready yet, so we just buy Ender, it's cheap and easy to use it. They printed out the parts which they want to use it, and then they gradually get the designing ideas and develop their designing skills. In the beginning of the project, we didn't know which kind of mechanism and which kind of design is suitable for the rover itself. We actually need to test it out a lot of times. That's why it's called RS-8. We have the weight limit and we need uh, some soft capability for the rover and we need to design our own self tires. That requires many uh, materials to be in it and manufacturing company takes a lot of time to actually manufacture entire stuff. But if we have the 3D printer, we just buy the filament and try to make it, and we can actually deploy and test it. We want to design our own grosser tires, own diameter tires to test it out which is suitable for our occasion. We are using generic design to reduce the weight and gain the strength at the same time. That is like a easy tool to get the parts that is strong enough and light enough to use it, but nearly impossible to manufacture it with a metal or something. So we use 3D printers to build it, and that's the way we use it. Our designing period is mostly one to two months, and just ask the manufacturer to build the metal parts. It's still risk-taking, but we are okay with it because we have the 3D printer as a backup. So any parts have issue, try to minimize the problem with 3D printed parts and we can go on for the mission. Also one thing to mention, if we develop some important parts by the 3D printer, we just buy the 3D printer in the States and while the competition we can just replace it if it broke. It could never happen with the traditional method. Future trend is maybe send it up three or four Maybe a rover it can self replace the parts which is broken and then make them risk taking movement and try to exploit more also for Mar a mankind mission, also for searching for lives on Mars. So in that case, cost value and the weight is very important. 3D printer can help it if they can produce uh, parts that is space quality. <laughs>